could fall down It's gonna be okay The sun could go out We're gonna be okay If all the blue skies ain't too gray We're gonna be okay Yeah. I did an ice bath the other day. And then right after I did Wim Hof breathing. That combo of doing an ice bath and then followed by like some crazy breathing. My body was like on a cloud. I can't even describe it, it was so weird. I couldn't feel, like I couldn't feel anything in a really good way. Like there was no pain, there was no coldness. Ugh. I'm gonna make a little snowman, I think, because I haven't done that in a very long time. Do you wanna make a snowman with me? I don't know, maybe the snow isn't good for a snowman. <laughs> Toad, we gotta make this snowman. Gotta make this snowman, mister. Tomorrow. I'm going to a car lot, or I'm going to a car uh, vehicle dealership in Ohio. <sighs> I lowered my standards of what I want to get a lot and what I can actually realistically afford because I was trying to live outside my means. I really wanted a Toyota Tacoma so bad, V6, 4x4, but those things are 10 grand and over and I just can't, like I cannot afford it. I just need to be realistic, so I'm going to get something much cheaper. I'm looking at Jeeps now. And I love the look of a Jeep Wrangler. Even that, I can't find one with a, oh, you see the birds? I can't find one with a hard shell top that I can afford. So next best, worst thing is a Jeep Cherokee. And I'm at a point now where you, people are like, don't settle, get what you, like, with my budget, it's gonna be a big settle. And that's just realistic because I don't have a budget. I don't have proper credit to do financing and stuff like that. So whatever I get, it's gonna be a hunk of junk, but it'll get me from point A to point B. Huh, Toad? We're just trying to get from A to B and I'm gonna try and convert the inside to a camper SUV now because, oh, my plans really went down, 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 down. That's I always start really high and then we go down, 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 down. But I'm still excited nonetheless because this is this is life. You just you, you roll with it and you adapt and you let it flow the way it's going to and this is how you learn as well. Like I keep talking about momentum. It's so important. I don't know if this is proper packing snow, but we're gonna try. It's a bit lightweight. I am growing quite um Alone? I wouldn't say lonely, I'm not lonely. It's just, I need more human interaction in my life. And um, it'll be good to get to North Carolina, be near Asheville. Be with my sisters, you know? I love solitude. I don't mind being alone. But I know it's, you know, we gotta have balance in life. This could be the day that I get a vehicle. It is snowy outside. I'd never finished my snowman because it wasn't packing snow. Get in that car 
We're in Youngstown, Ohio right now. We're getting my vehicle from Ohio. We're going to a lot, a used car lot in Ohio. Um, in Ohio, you don't really need inspection, but you do in Pennsylvania. I'm a bit nervous about it, but there's a cheap vehicle at this lot that we found. And if we don't like that one, they have other ones that are cheap, so we're just getting an old beater. Johnson Motors, my favorite car dealership. I like to come here every time I purchase a vehicle. All right, so I messaged this guy on Facebook and he never responded to me, but he responded to my stepfather. So I don't really like him thus far. <laughs> thus far. It's a bit chilly. Just out of the middle of nowhere. Come down to Don Johnson's for your new and used vehicle. So this is what I saw online. This is a Jeep Cherokee and it has high mileage, but it's, it's so cute. And the frame is from North Carolina. What's it look like under there? That's how to look under, do this with my camera. <laughs> That's the body. It's leaking oil. That's not good. Look how cute it is though, isn't that cute? My dad had these. We'll see how much these other vehicles are as well, because they have a few here. Could get one of these huge trucks. That one's massive. This is a little one, Silverado. Ooh, Let's see how much this guy is. Chevy Schilt Silverado. Oh, we're in the expensive zone over here. 14 grand. Don't know where Dawn is. Oh, how are you doing? Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. It smells like an old car. It is a 98. Cute. Very cute. Spacious in the back. I could do something with it back here. There's another um, Cherokee that was a lot newer that was for sale, but they sold it. So this is it's not bad. Do a little pressure. Charging. You know, like I see, it looks the airbag, right? That's fine. We don't need that. Huh? That's fine. We don't need that. So I know a lot of you will say, you know, it's a bad idea to get something with such high mileage. But at the same time, the frame is really good, and everything seems to be running properly that we can see. So I have my stepdad with me to check everything over because I would have no idea what to look for. You know, because you can never know about used car salesmen. So, um, you just don't know. Okay, so we're taking it for a test drive now. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> it's quick, so you drive it. <laughs> Turn the four the four wheel drive on while you're yeah, driving. Test the four -wheel drive. So hopefully, we I'm need like that. On a really hard drive. The heat works. I'm happy about that. It smells like the vents are has a mouse nest in there. You got a sniff on it. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a mouse nest. <laughs> it's really a little bit of a wander to it. A what? Wander. See that? Oh, oh the vents smell bad. Yeah, let's take it off the road. <laughs> let's take it off the road just to be sure. <laughs> you want to drive it? I'm scared. Well, I trust your judgment. Well, what's the best you'll do with it? That's we, it. You won't take 25? No. Okay. Yeah. I guess. We'll take her. We'll take her. So this car lot only accepts cash. So I have to get three grand out in cash. I've never gotten that much money out before. I've never even held that much money. <laughs> but he wouldn't come down on it. It's a reason that bank is two stars though. Their whole well, system I've was seen why the system This is a long process. This is why like wait, you buy things from small town people. It's it like takes so much longer and it's so much harder. 
I'm just unlucky. Oops. <laughs> okay, I am very <laughs> nervous because now I have to drive this thing. And I don't know how... These big clunking boots on all. They're leaving already. Wait for me. Okay, I'm gonna drive this thing home. Okay, so I've been driving it for about an hour and a half. And I need gas. It's gas. So far, the problems I. Well, now I'm trying to figure out how to open the gas cap. Okay, all right. Got it. Filling up the gas. I don't know how good of gas mileage this, thing's, this thing gets, but I'm gonna fill it. Huh? Yeah. You guys can go home. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye. I followed behind them the whole time. My mom is always scared that I'm going to crash. She doesn't believe me that I can drive, but I can. Right, so I drove it about an hour and a half back from Ohio. And the only problems that I've noticed with it is that whenever I use my turn signals, whenever I'm turning the wheel, it doesn't shut off. So I have to shut it off manually. I don't know what that is. And it does pull a little to the side. Not too much to where it's bad, but, um, but otherwise... I really, like, I really like it, and there's so much space in the back because it's a square shape that I can really like kind of convert it into a living situation. Just take out that back seat. We have some work to do on it. So I'd really like to. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I'll put some things on my wish list if you guys want to help with it, just for fun. But yeah, we definitely need a new steering wheel cover. But yeah, I got a Jeep. I guess I should test the horn. Oh no! Okay, it doesn't have a horn. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You know, like buying a vehicle this old, you're gonna you're gonna find some problems. But the body is immaculate. It was in North. It was from North Carolina. And the doors stick a little bit, but yeah. I'll give you guys a little tour. This is. The inside here. This is going to be my little adventure mobile. We're going to take this seat completely out and then I'll give us some room. I'll put the kitchen over here. Look, no, I don't. I'll put the, probably put the kitchen over here, have kind of like a slide out stove situation and somehow build this up to where we can put a bed. And I feel like it's pretty, it's long enough for me to be able to lay down without having to push the seat up too much up there. We're going to make a little conversion out of this, like maybe some built in cupboards. I wonder if there's any way to put this thing somewhere else. What do you think? What do you think? You like it, I can tell. I want to again say thank you so much to the people who donated on my GoFundMe. We raised around $1,900, which is really, really, really helpful. There's some things that need to be fixed before I can even get it inspected here in Pennsylvania. Ohio is different. Pennsylvania, everything needs to be inspected. He wants to come in. You want to come travel and see TNC in North Carolina, don't you? The poppin' stereo system. Whoo! Yeah, let me start it up to... Whoo, whoo. See? The only lights on is the airbag light. Which is all Okay. And so this... I might just buy a whole new system and try to install it myself because this obviously does not work. Oh, we got a power outlet. Oh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. I got a seat right here. Oh, nice. Let's see if these work. Oh, oh, what? Those work. I wonder if the... Oh, that one works too. Wow, we are, we are in luxury in this bad boy. I got my first home mobile. <laughs> Well, 2V home mobile, and I hope you guys in, uh, will watch me do this myself. Um, this has a lot of miles on it. It's 250,000 miles. I, I didn't think I was going to get one this, this week. I wasn't even going to upload a video because I'm like, I still don't have one. It's Friday. I'm going to upload this on Sunday. And I'm like, well, here it is. We got it. And leave some name suggestions below uh, and what you think uh, I should do in the back. I, I'm sure I say this all the time. I really do not know how to do anything. I've never been cut into wood before, so doing that back here is going to be a challenge and I don't know how it's... Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video.